It's the 13th of July in Butler, Pennsylvania. Former U.S. President Donald Trump speaks at a rally. He's just minutes into his speech when shots are fired. Take a look at what happened. Trump got hit, but survived. Someone tried to assassinate him in broad daylight. Here is how it unfolded. It's a hot, sweltering early evening as tens of thousands gather here to see Trump. This is a big crowd. This is a big, big, beautiful crowd. He is surrounded by supporters. Most are sitting or standing in front of the stage. Some sit on the bleachers, center, left, and right. Trump's support staff and security, including Secret Service agents, are right at the stage. Behind him are three large buildings. On the roof of the building on the far left and on the far right are Secret Service snipers. They are constantly scanning the surroundings, looking for threats. To Pennsylvania, I'm thrilled to be back. Trump begins with his speech. Things seem normal. He turns to the right and points at a chart showing statistics on border crossings. At the same time, several people in the crowd Take a look at what happened. All of a sudden, bullets start flying. One even gets captured on camera. Another building, about 400 feet or 120 meters north of the stage. The shots are coming from here, on the roof. The gunman is 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks. Take a look at what happened. Trump reaches up with his hand. The first bullet pierces the upper part of his right ear. He will later say that turning over to the right at that exact moment prevented the bullet from hitting him right in the head. He ducks down behind the podium, and within three to four seconds after the first shot, Secret Service agents swarm the former president and shield him with their bodies. Crooks opens fire again. Right before the first shot by Crooks, one of the snipers on the left roof behind Trump seems to detect the gunman and prepares to return fire. Take a look at what happened. We could not corroborate that it was in fact these specific agents. The gunman also hit spectators on the bleachers. One man died, 50-year-old Corey Comprador. Two others were critically injured. With Trump's microphone still on, we can hear the tense exchanges among the agents. About 42 seconds after Crooks opened fire, they confirm the shooter is down. They prepare to escort him to an armored vehicle. Let me get my shoes. Let me get my shoes. I got you, sir. I got you, sir. Let me get my shoes, sir. Hold that in your head. It's bloody. Sir, we gotta move to the bus. Let me get my shoes. Okay, my shoes down. I got my shoes. Watch out. Wait, 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 wait. In about 75 seconds after ducking to the ground, Trump raises his fist. He is mouthing the words, fight, fight, fight. The resulting photos immediately travel around the entire world. Later that night, he is flown to New Jersey. He appears to be well. There are a lot of questions we don't have an answer to right now. Why were the forces unable to prevent the attack, with this rooftop possibly falling into the responsibility of other law enforcement agents? We were unable to corroborate that. Why couldn't armed men climb up on this building? What was Crooks' motive? The gunman had no criminal history in Pennsylvania's public court records. The New York Times found a voter registration record for Crooks, it shows that he was registered as a Republican. They also found that he donated $15 to a liberal voter turnout group through a Democratic donation platform in 2021. He was a kitchen worker and had a membership at a local shooting club. The FBI found suspicious devices in both his car and home. They are being evaluated by the agency at the time of this recording. The investigation is ongoing and new information is being published by the minute. President Biden and various leaders around the world condemned the attack and political violence at large. The picture of Trump, bloodied but defiant, with a raised fist in front of the American flag, will surely become a powerful symbol in his re-election campaign.